Greetings everybody, this is Sabin Dimitrov, aka Dins for the Astral Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here for my next video. And this time, I finally actually have the, uh, the game audio fixed, so that way you guys can still hear the music and the environment, but also still my wonderful and soothing voice. Ha 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 ha. Uh, that's, don't know why my flashlight was on. But yeah, so, um, remember I told you guys how in my last video I wanted to, like, try out some different stuff and see how a new, um, technique could possibly work? And how I showed you guys how things were laid out next time? Well, it seems to actually be working, and I want to show you guys why. So you guys can see this, uh, you know, we uh, are going to probably win this pretty easily. If we can actually hit, for Pete's sake. There we go. That is why having Scorpio on a, on a defense commander is often the best. Because that will uh, protect you for the long run. So even though they are doing damage against us, we still get a heal from it. So we win. Unfortunately this time we are going to lose. But as you guys can see, we are able to have, able to heal, but they're, uh, they finally got through to us. But, did you see that? My breakdown came through. So my dear friend, uh, uh, Owl was correct. So often having a defense commander as your first line of defense and then your offensive def uh, commander, uh, is a fantastic way to go. And that is a, uh, and that is the reason why uh, we are doing better now. Now, unfortunately, we lost because this is a guilty. But we can go ahead and take a look at the battle, and I'll show you guys what's up. So we're gonna win, and we're gonna win on this one easily. Now we're gonna lose on this one because they are freaking huge. Now. It's amazing that we can actually take these few hits, but unfortunately we're just going to lose because those stupid wings of eternity. We lost because Vega's inability to activate Breakdown because he's a moron. Great job, Vega. We could have won that. But I think overall, guys, we are actually going to be able to run a solid, uh, you know... Uh, this is such a load of bogus. Yeah, we are doing nothing. So much bogus. So yeah, because of, it, uh, of Vega's inability to actually activate Breakdown, our amazing Shockwave was not going to be able to win. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, for this first battle, we actually uh, hit them really hard with that uh, Vega. So yeah, running doing uh defense offense defense offense and then whatever sister wolf is sorry guys having a little bit of acid reflux sorry about that <clears throat> much better but uh so pretty much um this will guarantee giving your uh your main uh, like your your main attack commander the opportunity to hit first and you know Rogers is proving to be a very hard person to kill. So that's really, really good sign. That's a really good sign. And we can go ahead and take a look at Starsea. Check it out, guys. We own this planet now. So let's go ahead and march forward and give these people a good old-fashioned hello. So we haven't won anything yet or fought anything yet, but... We are in that game. Now, taking into account what my dear friend told me, we are running the same thing with uh, our Ace of Galaxy uh, loadout. Now, unfortunately, guys, we don't have enough Tier 12 soldiers. So, next time the, uh, the next event for um, training soldiers is, is there, I'm going to be trying to get myself about 1 billion food, 1 billion parts, and a crap ton of gas. So that way I can be all set. 
Now, like, originally, I was thinking about saving these up, but it would be kind of foolish of me to, like, not take the opportunity to make my soldiers awesome. Because we can get a pro- we can probably get a couple hundred more tier 12, um, origins ready to go. And, uh, that is what we need. But, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, uh, already, this is really helping us, you know, do better. Now, like it is, guys, I found out that realization only, like, a, a couple hours ago. So it may take a couple days for my place to really change. But because we took Owl's, uh, beautiful, uh, insight and actually learn from him hopefully this will be able to help us do better and like i said guys if we learn from the other people who win or the other people who fight we can actually be able to uh learn from them and check this out guys this guy is running the same rogers that i am and you can see why he's doing so well take a look so he loses, they lose, he loses, he loses again, hold on a second guys, I think I messed up, oh okay, okay, I I'm sorry guys, so yeah, this guy won just by his sister wolf, he didn't even have to get to the Rogers or Dragon Slayer, this guy has some insanely huge commanders but yeah so uh when, when, when you guys start to figure out what people do um and you take a look at the people who win you can start to to, to kind of you know put together what people are doing and uh the last battle i had they were running uh, their attack commanders with two or three slots on the front row of the ethereals and since that is a uh, troop soldier that has more critical damage to their adjacent soldier type, you, uh, I have the uh, the entire front row with ethereals for Vega and Dragon Slayer, and then for uh, for Rogers, as you guys can see, I found out that that same thing that the other person did: front row Cyan Shadows, back row uh, the Origins. And then for Orochi, he's actually much better with all origins because uh, because the origins have the highest health points and you know ability to defend themselves than uh, other, than any other tier twelve soldier. And like I said, Sister Wolf, because uh, all my technology is built into my airships, I figured that the best way to go about it is to use tier ten. Um, the Cyrus, because I think a full slot of heavily enhanced Cyrus might do better than a Void Skater, because the, the Cyrus can run uh, 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 Walker abilities. And but yeah, so as you guys can see, my commanders aren't very big, but considering that I'm actually able to go toe to toe with higher level commanders and big marches shows you know how running proper equipment can really help you be effective and uh yeah i'm just i'm so proud of my vega now he didn't do well the second uh enemy but as you guys can see in, in that video you guys got to see that uh you know uh, Owl's beautiful, uh, wisdom was able to help me be more effective. And, you know, let's try, you know, attacking a, a, an enemy here. So, they were trying to hit me with, hit me with everything they got. But as you guys can see, my, uh, Rogers comes in and clears them out. Now, we're going to be running into this fella right here, but we we're hoping to cut through them. And it's a good thing we did. Our uh, our health point build on on Rogers is still doing pretty good. 
We don't have skills trigger rate, but that's not as pertinent to it as for Orochi. So we can actually afford to do the uh, total damage reduction with the health points. So we can kind of help make him a bit more survivable because uh, Rogers is kind of an iron wall. Wow, that's really good. I am so proud of uh, Rogers actually being able to take a hit. Yeah, so even though he's being hit hard, you guys can see that even with the subpar equipment, he's actually holding out very, very well. That hurts. I hate this person. Yeah, that, that hurts a lot. But as you guys can see, we are activating more of our abilities to make it much harder for him to kill us. So because we have defensive stance all the way active now, he should be doing no damage. And that means we are the impenetrable wall of iron now. So no matter how many times they hit us, no matter how many times they, uh, they, they, they try to hurt... Well, okay, never mind then. Oh, I see. He's trying to... Okay, but as you guys can see, it's still not working well for him. But let's just fast forward because it's going to take a while. We still managed to win. So, Rogers is a mean, mean commander. Uh, why? That's just sad. Actually, I can see why they could probably do that, but, you know, you, you know. Wow, well, that was way too easy. Let's see if we can actually get, get one to where they actually defeat Rogers, but then... Vega comes through. Nope. We win that one too. I'm very proud of Rogers. Rogers does a great job. Alright, we, we win that one. Wow, I love Rogers. He's a beautiful, beautiful good guy. Dude, commander, person. Yeah, we lose. Oh, wow. We actually cut down that slot. Good. Haha, <laughs> we won. See? That is why having a, uh, a strong uh, defense commander as your first slot w uh, helps you win. Now, I, uh, that battle was going to take a while, but yeah, you guys can see that we have some really cool stuff uh, working out for ourselves. Now, I like watching Rogers murder uh, this fella. I hate reinhardening with an unholy passion. But as you guys can see, he's not doing very well against us. Now he doesn't, now he's not running full tier 12, but it's so nice watching us being able to crush Reinhardt. I hate Reinhardt with an unholy passion, so it just feels so nice just being able to hit him hard. Like I said guys, Terror Space on our defense commander is delicious. Bam. But unfortunately we're going to be going against this fella. Stella is a mean, mean commander. But as you guys can see, uh, even with our subpar equipment like I told you before, we are still doing a good job. And we still win that. Isn't that amazing, guys? Rogers is very much proving himself to be amazing. And here's the battle of the Rogers. He's doing great. I'm proud of Rogers. But as you can see, the other Rogers does not have a fourth plug-in skill, if I remember right. Hmm. This might take a while. That's kind of one of, one of the nice things about defensive stance is that it, it usually doesn't let, you know, tear space cut through it. But as you guys can see, uh, we are quickly cutting through them. So we're just going to fast forward now and just call it because this is going to take forever. We win. That's funny. But yeah, so, as you guys can see, we are already going to be doing so much better now because of this loadout. And, uh, like it is, Vega doesn't need all slots to be filled with tier 12. The commanders that really matters to have tier 12 is Rogers and Orochi. Now, I would still want Vega to have at least the front row be tier 12. But, like I said, once the next uh, soldier training event comes up, 
we're going to actually, uh, uh, I can't. Ooh, I wonder how, how, um, how you got that, uh, that yellow border. That's pretty. Can I change my border at all? What are these? Galactic Campaign Big Boss, Galactic Campaign Superstar, Galactic Campaign MVP. Wow, they've added new stuff now. But unfortunately, guys, I don't have any of those. I only have the Easter one, but... You know what? The Easter one's better than nothing, but... I kind of hope that we, we can get something new soon. But yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so as you guys can see, just doing that, those few small changes that my dear friend Owl told me about is, is immediately making us so much more effective now. And I am so happy about that. And, you know, it just it's so nice having a friend that knows how to play the game and is willing to help teach you. And all you have to do is ask. And, you know, uh, I'm very, very happy with how well this is going. And you know, like it is guys, Rogers is MVP. And uh, I want to get his equipment leveled up some more because that will allow us to be able to really uh, make him stronger. Because if we can get the total damage reduction to 20%, that means he's going to have 50% total damage reduction. And that's going to be really awesome. And like I said, guys, eventually I want to get um, Cassiopeia power on Orochi. I mean, I mean on Rogers. Because like I said, he's running power of Scorpio and he's running Hercules protection. But I want to try to find a way to make him a bit more, more offensive. Not offensive, but like a way to make him even more troublesome to deal with. So that is why I'm going to try to make him not exactly a clone of Orochi, but as you guys can see, you know, they're doing very, very well. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to run defensive stance on uh, Orochi because this is would be 30% uh, can be overlaid. Um, so all damage is was reduced by 30%. So since I'd be 15% on uh, for level 30, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, wait, so 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 60, 90? Yeah, 90. So he, uh, you wouldn't be able as far as I know, get 100% total damage reduction on Orochi. And the best bet to keep him running with the best stuff is just do the uh, Absolute Defense. And I'm very proud of myself to get Absolute Defense to this level, and I'm very proud of myself to get uh, Shockwave to level 22. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry guys, my brain's a little tired. Been a lot going on. But, uh, yeah, um, I just, you know, I wanted to, to kind of make a catch-up video where stuff kind of made more sense. And, uh, now that you guys can actually hear my voice, you know, and actually hear the game audio at the same time and not have it be, like, max volume, that saves us so much trouble. And, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think, um, uh, I'm waiting for another capital to open up because I want to go toe to toe with the enemy. My Orochi is much bigger now, and I want to be want to be able to give, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, DGS a run for the money. Because the more people that we have that can fight enemy commanders, uh, the better. And unfortunately, guys, we've lost two more members of our guild. So if you guys want to be active players, and you guys want to help my guild be successful, please come to my server, 1265. Um, 
help uh, help come to our server 1265 guys uh, the power restriction you can't be over 635 million so please come over to our planet because if you guys come over to our planet and help us grow we can fight again back against DGS and we can actually be able to uh, to uh, you know have some more fun because we lost some really good players lately so if we can get some more players to help fill in those gaps and we can turn you guys into some good players or if you guys are already good players then please by all means hop onto our world planet and please you know help us to be the best guild we can be because we need the best and strongest players we can get and you know people who are willing to learn and grow and like it is guys you know uh, ask owl for ways to become stronger tell him what what your aspirations are and maybe he can help you but yeah so just you know uh yeah um you know it's it's fun being able to get a whole bunch of uh fun being able to grow it's fun being able to uh you know uh be a better player and you know like i said guys uh my friend owl has a lot of wisdom and he is helping me grow in ways I never thought were possible. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here because I can't really find anything else to talk about. So, unless something new or really interesting comes up, then, you know, uh, then I guess, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make, you know, more uh, other game uh, stuff. But like I said, guys, you know, there's always more to learn in Ark of War. And if I find some more uh, content or stuff that I want to show you, then by all means, I'm going to happily show you it. Um, I already told you guys about these events. I already told you guys about this. So there's nothing new on that. But maybe in a couple days, there will be some more events. Like it is, I can't post a video every single day. But I can try to post videos as often as I can to kind of keep the content fresh and exciting. So I want to thank everybody for being the for being the amazing, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, subscribers that you guys are. And I want to thank you guys for just being so supportive, for being so insightful, and for being, you know, just the uh, awesome subscribers that you guys are. I appreciate you guys enjoying my videos. I appreciate you guys. Uh, give me feedback and it means a lot and uh, I'm very happy that you know I get to post unique and interesting content for you guys and you know let me know if there's other stuff that you guys are interested in and maybe I'll see if I can get into it or not I'm trying to stay away from games that are competitive because I don't want to spend money so if there's like free little fun phone games out there that you guys would recommend I try out then please by all means let me know but uh yeah um I think I should uh Stop the video here and, uh, you know, let you guys, uh, have fun with it. Anyway, uh, this has been Sabine Dimitrov, a.k.a. A Dance from the Astro Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here for my YouTube video. Thank you guys for being awesome. Uh, you guys stay awesome and always remember, God bless.